Uh, we care about the full development of children and we see that they have potential in so many different areas uh, and one of those areas is the arts, whether they're doing artwork, uh, the visual arts, whether they're doing music, whether they're in the band or the chorus. Uh, those are the things that really make them excited. It really helps complete um, our entire school community. It brings life to the school. Like in the hallway, it's a lot of designs and everything and it's color. And that's all made from our art classes. The vision for the school is that we have a full art immersion program. I think it helps a lot of kids here be more prepared and also be more creative and know themselves way better. Our music program here at Commodore John Rogers, it starts with children in pre-K all the way up to eighth grade. And Before, I didn't want to play it because I wanted to quit because like I couldn't really play. But Mr. Watson told me, he encouraged me, he was like, it's going to be okay. Like after a while it gets easier. He was right because now I can play and like now I might be an honor band. Do you get to use instruments like the clarinets, the drums? It's important because they can see us accomplish stuff. Ready, two, breathe, blow. We work on movement, keeping the beat, simple songs, folk songs. I describe my day fun when I have music in it. Not everybody gets to have like their own instrument and play, and not everybody has the same chance that you get to get when you come to school. Take them and bring them down as if you're gonna play. You pinch, and then you wrap your fingers around, you bring it up to a V, you bring it down, and you hold it over. Your palm should be facing the ground. Katie, okay. all right, don't put your fingers underneath. We don't put fingers underneath instruments. So today we had like new sixth graders who just started band and like the oldest seven and eighth graders, we had to like teach them like the notes and how to play. It was groups that needed help more than other groups. So Mr. Watson taught them like the notes. Well, the beautiful thing, um, you know, our principal really pushes the arts and he has the same philosophy. Give kids the opportunity, not just one art form, but as many as we can give them. It's something that our kids thrive in and they excel in. And, you know, at Commodore, it's, it's part of the fabric of our, of our building. It, I feel like it will help me in high school so I can like go to a better high school, not just because of like my other ac academics classes. It's fun. Most of the like events we have at Commodore builds around us playing different songs. But I do enjoy coming to, coming to this class when I am here at school. It gives your students more opportunities and more things they can do when they get in high school and college. Out of my 10 years, I have not had any students that did not make it into the art school of their choice. So whether you boxing, bubbling it, or com combining it together, you still can just come through, erase the inside, and then you're left with your box letters. We went through all the elements of art and we're working towards our final project. I put art because that represents me. A lot of people know me as drawing a lot. And the fact that I get to express myself when in like different places I don't, like in math class or reading class. She's amazing. She demonstrates it and she's a fun teacher. Like she knows how to work with children. So once we learn all these elements, we place them all together, that's how art is created and you become not an illustrator, but an artist. And uh, so we need to invest in that. We need to make those opportunities available. Uh, we need to help support our students so they can be their best selves.